Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I have for you an epic game between Scuba and Boyka. Uh, player 1 is going to be Scuba and God's Ra is going to be Boyka. Scuba uploaded this one to Game Replays and he said it's an insane game and then he went on to complain that it ca he can't believe it doesn't have more whoops. So, you know what, as Lakesy says, Let's get it a good cast. Hopefully I can uh, do it justice. And hopefully the game is exciting to, to do me justice. And with a bit of luck, if you enjoy the game, pop on down to uh, Game Replays. Epic Scuba GLA vs Boyka Laser. And drop in a little wub if you enjoy this cast. And more importantly, if you enjoy the replay. So uh, let's hop straight into it. Let's load up this replay and see what we've got for you. So we have Scuba uh, starting at the north side of the map as the vanilla GLA. And we have Boyka. I'm probably just going to re uh, refer to them as Player 1 and Ra. Because I will forget and mix them up at some point. But we've got Boyka as God's Ra on the bottom south side of the map. Starting as the Laser General. doing. Uh, oh, this is the uh, this is the classic uh, Tournament Desert No Cars map. Not the Zero Hour one. So on the Zero Hour one, you've got the Supply... The main supply in this corner, and the main supply in this corner here. But this is the one from uh, Command & Conquer just Vanilla Generals, where you've got actually both supplies on this side, which is um, which can be super good for the USA, because it makes it easier to uh, deal with those split uh, like Gatling attacks and quad cannons running down. But let's have a look what uh, Scuba's doing over here on the uh, north side of the map. Oh, we have a double tunnel take in the middle. He's probably going to want to... Uh, get some supplies uh, centers up start ca uh, capturing some some of these supplies around the middle because if he can get onto three supplies early on that will be a huge advantage and once these supplies in the middle are gone they are gone tunnel on the uh, on the sides as well so we're going for a uh, tunnels across a map strategy here from uh, player one and we're gonna have to see if uh, uh, Ra can get some Humvees out and start to push away these tunnels because if GLA gets like bunkered in and map control it can be really incredibly difficult for a uh, laser general to um, like work his way out back out onto the map uh, possibly a missile defender here going to take this bunker but it's going to be a race between the missile defender through the jungle and the I've forgotten what the GLA RP, are they like RPG troops or rebels I can't quite remember to be honest with you oh he didn't quite get him in in time unlucky there and just uh, still a fake uh, war factory hit from Scuba. Not sure what's going on with that one. Maybe he'll convert it soon enough. I hear some Humvees. They're just going to take down the uncaptured oil derrick because he recognizes that he's not going to be able to uh, capture this um, anytime soon with uh, having the two turrets up here and the bunkers. Big tunnel pop from uh, of RPG troops here. Losing the Humvee. Capture going up. He might, in fact, just lose these missile defenders. The workers going out to rep rep uh, repair the Derrick. Uh, good play there from Scuba. And a laser turret here. And a firebase on the side. A little bit of bunkering going from Ra. Just to give him uh, that first line of defense. Because the Humvees, they're super mobile. They're super strong. But if, if you're pressing on one side of the map with the Humvees, you need something to g buy you a little bit of time to get over to where the action is happening and defend your base. Um, I'm going to be really interested to see here what what Ra's stra strategy to sort of reclaim the middle, prevent the continuous collection of these oils. Because right now, Scuba is on like... A much larger, uh, much larger economy. They're both on two supplies. Oh, terrorists just uh, going down there. But they're both on two uh, collection supplies. However, Scuba having these two oil derricks is a really big advantage. It's going to help him spread out onto the map, and hopefully for Scuba maintain control of the middle here. But hopefully for us, Ra can do something here. Got those flashbangs. Going to be clearing out the buildings. Very good. Flashbangs clearing out the bunker as well. Oh, nice evacuation there, so he doesn't l instantly lose all of his troops. Back in, but the flashbangs will just pop again. Here they go. Oh, oh, unlucky with the bunker micro, um, with the evacuation micro there from Scuba. Uh, technical just going in, but not really doing anything. Uh, I'm wondering if and when we're going to see some uh, some offensive from Scuba, or whether he's just going to 
be happy to continue to bunker. Uh, got some RPG troops in the building here. Those are going to do a lot of damage to these Humvees. And oh, here it is. The terror aggression. He's dozer hunting or Walla Lama. So that's one dozer down. Uh, scoot, uh, ah, I knew I was going to mix it up. There it goes. Uh, Boyka does still have one more dozer. Building that uh, strategy center down here. Hopefully, or oh, he's going to want to get the uh, search and destroy up. Flashbangs killing some of these RPGs. I lost a Humvee right here. That's unfortunate. You don't want to be losing too many of those as you will just get overwhelmed and have nothing in return. Could do with placing these uh, Chinooks back on collection. Though he is busy clearing out the middle. I do see a tunnel pop here. Tentacles going down the east side of the map with some aggression. Maybe we'll see what's in those. Straight past the firebase. Going to take this firebase out now. Only four RPG troops in here. So it's not too dangerous for, um, for Boyka to be dealing with. Nice micro there, picking up the Humvee before it dies. Uh, it's probably just going to drop it off at the war factory here. Get it uh, repaired up. And see, that firebase there, like, prevented him from just going straight into the base and maybe killing the power. Um, of course, hunting this last dozer. We do have a little bit of a middle fight going on here. We've got some flashbang troops in this building here. Uh, I guess it's just flashbang troops. I could be wrong. Oh, so missile defenders as well. But he's going to continue trying to clear out this middle. Meanwhile, there is another big technical spam coming in from the east-hand side. Taking out that Humvee as it just pops out. Uh, still clearing out the middle, though. Good aggression. However, what is he going to do about this? We've got the Dozer building the command center. Of course, if this command center goes up, he is going to be absolutely fine. However, that's not what Scuba is going to want to allow to do. Good micro here with the Chinook picking up that dozer. Technicals obviously cannot shoot up because they are stupid. And God's Ra here is just going to get these cleared out. Again, a few RPG troops in here. But nothing that... Ooh, that was unnecessary losing two Humvees to this, I think. However, cleared that out. Still has his dozer. Going to drop it down. Pop it back on uh, constructing this command center right here. And we have some rocket buggies going down the side now. Rocket buggies super good at dealing with Humvees as they have a much larger range. Oh, where are they going? Um, scuba? Where Where are these going? Okay, losing one rocket. <gasps> oh, going for the dozer hunt at the last second. Does he get it? Oh, he gets it on 100%. Oh, my. I didn't understand what Scuba was doing these rocket with these rocket buggies. What? But what a massive 400 IQ play right here. Taking out that dozer before the command center can fully complete. I can imagine Boyka is in chat like now, absolutely flaming his ass off. No, I'm joking. He's probably he's, he's probably just focused on winning the game. Um, but we do have Scuba here collecting from the east side. And a little bit of a uh, rocket fight here between a missile defender. But the bunker with a worker stood next to it is always going to win. Bunker is... Uh, I believe i'm 100 percent sure i'm 99 percent sure in saying this the bunker does have more health points and would uh win in general anyway but with a worker stood there who can rep oh just as we were talking about him out comes the pathfinder just takes all of the fun away from that worker or oh, there's a sneaky little uh demo trap here though he does have detection on the humvee so hopefully for boyka he's seen it because he's really on the back foot right now, not having any dozer. He does have his uh, strategy center up, so search and destroy. The increased range is really, really good for Humvees. However, he's going to have a difficult time. We do have rocket buggies out now. We've got the first black market going up with that. Oh, taking out this laser turret here. Pathfinder stood in his little ghillie suit. Very, very stealthy. Green ghillie suit in the desert. Never going to be spotted right there. However, as I was saying, Black Market has gone out now. So we're most likely going to see uh, the extra rockets upgrade and possibly even armor penetration rockets as it makes them just absolutely melt the Humvees. Uh, six rocket buggies here along with a German Kelp and probably some RPG troops in the battle bus. Doesn't want to lose that battle bus to the base defense though. That would be tragic. Um, he's going to have to do something about these Humvees pressing into his base right now. However, talking about how it's easier to defend the supplies in your base as China and USA to the GLA aggression and to those Gatlings creeping in. 
it also makes it much easier for the uh, GLA general to bunker up, have his base in a little more of a contained area, so he can tunnel pop in and out. We've got these rocket buggies here, just going to be taking out this laser defense turret as the Humvees make their way on over. A couple more Humvees being loaded up here. I think he's not going to cancel this building here just because he's a little bit frustrated. Like, why, why on earth has this not completed? That's like 99.9% .9 completed. Going to be losing a three-star Humvee that did have troops in it. That feels super bad. Losing another Humvee here. Uh, there we go. The rocket ammo upgrade for increased shots. Jarman, Ke Jarman Kelp. Colonel Burton in this bunker right now. While the Toxin Tractor goes along spewing his absolute disgusting mass into the buildings. Rocket buggies just popping in and out. Nice laser lock here on the Tox Tractor. Because although that stuff is nasty for units. Not doing any damage to the buggies right now. But he is successful in clearing out these tunnels near his base. That's going to prevent any tunnel pop aggression. Nice and like super close to his base. And along with... Oh no, don't lose the missile defenders. Good job, good job. And the bee goes down. Good evacuation though. Saving some of his missile defenders. And now he should be able to take out this oil derrick. Which puts them more balanced supplies. I can't see because it's bugged in the replay. I'm not sure what causes. I think it's because Sco yeah, it's because Scuba couldn't see these in the game, so it doesn't actually show them. Um, but I guess this is mined out here because we've got four Chinooks just mining in the uh, on the main one here. So more of a balanced economy right now, uh, as he have taken out this supply on the side here. Rocket buggies, battle bus storming into the base of Boyka right now. And the Humvees are coming. Oh, this is really good. This is a great catch. Can he get any more? No, just the two I think he got there of the rocket buggies. But it was still a good catch. It's starting to whittle them down. Those rocket buggies aren't cheap. And as Scuba is now not on any oil derricks, only has one black market and this single supply collecting, It's this is the time of the game to be as efficient as you possibly can be with your... Um, with your units, especially getting level 1, level 2, even level 3 upgrades, it means the units have um, are tankier. Like, I don't know if it's an armor increase or a HP increase. Uh, someone, uh, someone let me know. I can't quite remember, if I'm honest with you. And it also allows them to heal and do extra damage, allowing for more unit efficiency. Another battle bus here being loaded up for scuba. I think he's still got the Jarman Kelp inside the battle bus. I don't think we can see it like where he is on the map from their perspective. No, we can't. But as you can see, both players don't have like a big like rolling income right now. They're, they're just sort of, they're floating about 2K, 2K cash. But as you can see, it's not coming in very fast. Uh, just killing this building off here by Scuba. Doesn't want to take any, uh, any disadvantage. Ah, Fights from a bad position. Sorry, I was tripping over my words there. Just another little bunker fight here. Just going to, again, clear out another building. Because the last thing Scuba wants is to walk into the middle with his rocket buggies. And then there'd be a building here with three, four, five missile defenders in. That'd be... Uh, he'd, just, he'd just lose them all. Because the rocket buggies are incredibly, incredibly weak in terms of health. Um, they, only take a, they can only take a few shots. Here you go. You can see for yourself... Three, three shots is like probably two more shots and that rocket buggy would be dead. So five shots. So they can get one shot by five missile defenders. Which uh, which is, is super squishy. Especially in comparison to other units in the game. Being a little bit more tankier. Big Humvee army here. Just going down the left side. Ooh, we have even more Humvees getting loaded up. He still hasn't cancelled or sold this, uh, this uh, command center right here. Though, at the same time, if it came down to a base race, this is another building that's tanky that would have to be killed in, to, in, in the event of a base race. So I do understand why, well, there is a good reason for him to uh, keep that building up. I'm uh, just going to sell this war factory here. doesn't need it anymore. His economy isn't big enough for uh, dual war factory spam. And uh, selling these buildings, hope trying to get as much money back as he can. Rocket buggies firing on that Humvee. Two Humvees go down here. It's, I feel like he's trapped himself into a corner. This is a 
tricky situation for Boyka right now. Uh, quad cannons getting ranked up. Uh, doesn't have the armor pen missiles upgrade from the uh, rocket buggies here. And what can the Humvees do? He's just killing off the economy. He, of course, still has collection going on in the middle, having those buildings. And if he can just kill off this black market, he is on... Oh, there's still supplies here, though. Hmm. So he should have... He does have, like, a good force within his, um... Within his uh, tunnel system. So it's not like he has no army, nothing to defend with. He still has a little bit of supply collection going on here. So he should be able to build up a little bit of an economy to continue fighting. Two battle buses up now, getting those, um, collecting those scrap upgrades as to, so they can be, uh, tankier. Takes more shots for them to be killed. Uh, like I said, we've got collection in the middle here from, uh, Boyka. Uh, he needs to micro his, chin his other two Chinooks to get the collection going on over here as well. Outside of the, um, outside of these Chinooks, collecting to this one supply. He has no income, so perhaps if Scuba could get a Terra Tech or something, take out his supply, then he can just whittle him down based on economy. Jarman Kel ranking up, getting... Oh, he's got the, the cash upgrade. So all of these kills here are going to be giving Scuba a little bit of a, a, a cash income to spam some more units and buildings. All the Chinooks going out. Uh, out for collection. Losing power here is going to be really bad for Boyka. The uh, when you're on low power, everything constructs slow, or your units produce slower, which is really a real disadvantage. Along with being on uh, pretty much a dead economy at this point. If he just puts these battle buses, clears out this middle, that's that's Boyka on no economy. All they would have left is these Humvees and a few ambulances to keep them nice and healthy here. But Scuba is just happy to sit. He's building a second palace. That's uh, just for some extra bunkerage on the side of the map. And he's got his command center up. So we should be seeing some generals. Uh, powers going out right now. Both generals, four stars. But of course, Boyka cannot use any of his generals' powers. Pathfinder's taking out the workers, the RPG troops. Tunnel pop at the back here for Scuba. But these Humvees should just be able to take out what they want. Losing a Humvee here. A uh, little bit unnecessary. But he has so many. Popping these missile defenders out. This isn't very good in if the Jarman Kel's still in the battle buses. What we shall see. I'm not sure. Take it, rocket buggies taking out the Humvees. Lots of action going on here. You can't even see the vehicles. A good laser lock on this battle bus. Takes it out. Both battle buses have in fact gone down. The bunker bus has also been killed. Really good aggression here from Boyka. He is was on the back foot, but he's looking promising here. Can maintaining Humvee production while this is going on. Ke preventing the uh, construction of that black market, but he did sell it so we can always remake it. Good laser lock on the rocket buggy here, but it's not going to do anything as they pop back into the tunnel. Doesn't want to lose these missile defenders here. To the tunnel... Can he get them back in the... Uh, oh, no, the Humvee's going down. Mis missile defenders here just want a laser lock, but it's just not going to happen. Pilot standing around, enjoying the sun. And the Pathfinder in his super stealthy ghillie suit just going to be sitting there, looking, eyes open. As these missile defenders get taken out, laser lock is unsuccessful. And he's just going to hope that no one runs him over. And keeping his eyes open for any workers who want to uh, come and do some work out here. There he goes, taking one out. Absolutely beautiful. Got one down here as well. This is really nice from Boyka. Just maintaining a little bit of map control with these Pathfinders. Just sat in stealth. Like, okay, this one got taken out. But this is really good. He's just got them sat at important points of the map. In case uh, Scuba just sends like a single worker out. And to, to build tunnels, gain map control. Do anything sneaky or aggressive. It's really... Uh, like, just a simple, clever play. I like this. Great job. Scuba, though, was like, no, no, no. We're not having this. I will not allow this to uh, to go on in my games. Sending that radar van for detection, along with a couple of quad cannons, just in case he comes across any hostility. And in terms of hostility, we do have some right here. Uh, what's that? Five, six Humvees and an ambulance going out. Does have detection. There is another battle bus up. 
there are still a few rocket boogies remaining. Uh, Scoob, they're both floating about 5k cash. So they're not broke, but the income, again, is still very slow. Rocket boogie's going to be taking out one Humvee. Can they get any more? Oh, the ambulance has gone down. That's that 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 sucks in a way. Oh, good micro there, taking the single rocket buggy back into the tunnel. Humvee nearly going down. But we have um, taking that ambulance out was an absolutely fantastic move because these Humvees they've already bought the scout drones for the stealth detection, uh, which means unless these scout drones get um, killed, he cannot purchase. The battle drone upgrade, as you can see here, he cannot purchase that in order to repair his zombies. So he has to wait. He has to bring another ambulance out or run them all the way back to his war factory here to get them healed on up. Battle bus going out. Looks like it looks to be fully upgraded. Does have that front grill with the spikes on it for extra gore when running over innocent USA troops. All USA wants to do is take the oil. We know this. And all GLA wants to do is defend their homeland. Just running around here with the buggies. With the battle bus. Just trying to see if there's anything worth clearing out. Going to clear out this bunker. That's always nice. Doesn't want to lose this buggy to it though. That would be just free damage. Uh, we do have Colonel Burton here. I nearly said Jarman Kelligan. Colonel Burton taking out this palace. Doesn't want to go down. Runs away back into stealth. Palace has gone down now, and that is Scuba's last palace. He is uh, constructing a black market, and he does have a thousand cash here, but that's not even worth like creating workers to uh, mine at this point, because you're uh, you're not going to see a big return on your investment. So Scuba sat on nine hundred to a thousand cash, while. Uh, I forgot his name again. Boyka does is maintaining this collection in the center. Of course, he is unable to. If Boyka had dozers right now, he would be. He 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 would almost certainly win this game, because he would be able to uh, build supply drops. He would be able to bunker up a little bit and just continue to defend against this with perhaps some Avengers or whatever. But seeing as he has no dozer. Uh, also, to have those general's abilities to start using the A-10s and stuff to whittle away the base. Oh, V going down there. With the A-10s to whittle away the GLA base even more than he's already doing with these Humvees. However, an amazing dozer snipe from Scuba. Lame tactics, but it is a, it is, it's a tactic and it's damn effective. Um, keeping this USA at bay as best he can. That's a shame that that shouldn't have been... Uh, being damaged there as it does make them travel slower. Slower connect collection. Got a rebel pop here in the center. Just taking the fire. Distracting the missile defenders in there. So the vehicles can just come up. And not take missile defender fire. Clearing them out of there. If, uh, getting them out of those buildings. Pathfinders are going to take these rebels out however. And these Humvees. Oh no. This is another big Humvee army, and I'm pretty sure this is all Scuba has. I think all Scuba has at this point is six rocket buggies, a battle bus, and three quad cannons. I could be wrong. There may be uh, there may be more stuff in the turret, in the turret, in the tunnel that we can't see as a spectator. There goes the police. I'm not sure what they're uh, chasing down. Too much ownage here from uh, Boyka and Scuba coming for me. Ah, we've got a massive Humvee army on the side here. I think this should be the nail in the coffin. Unless Scuba can have some insane micro with these rocket buggies. He has already lost one. Battle bus going in. Still got the Jarman Kel. Still getting cash from every kill. Now this is keeping potentially keeping Scuba in the game. If he can be efficient with these units. The Humvees are chasing them down. That battle bus is going to go down. Uh, Boyka can afford to lose a few units here as he does still have income. He can maintain production. But Scuba, this is his, his entire army right now. So he has to keep every unit alive and kill as much as he can without losing his base. This one lonely black market is the only income that he's got apart from Jarman Kel. $30. $30 in three seconds. Amazing.
What a fast earner. War Factory is going to go down here. No unit production. However, we have a big Anthrax bomb going down. Nice force fire on the ground here with the ambulances to prevent the spread of that toxin. And it's all gone. It was a good, it was a really good uh, Hail Mary play. Got a sneak attack here. Just trying to uh, gain a little bit more um, base defense along with the shroud. Along with the general's ability that shrouds the units within the uh, area that you select. These stealth buggies are exactly what he needs for efficiency right now. Going to be taking them out. But no, he's running it in. He's losing the battle bus. Jarman Kel, is he going to evacuate him? Oh, no. That's really, really unfortunate for Scuba right there. Just got a little bit too ballsy with his stealth units. And the Humvees just ran straight in. Don't forget, they do have these little scout drones for stealth detection. Well played right there. And Scuba probably going to be wanting to scrap up these quad cannons. as, Or he might even want to collect them with the buggies for more cash. We shall see. Though he doesn't seem to be showing much interest. The risk is, of course, if he sends them in too far, the Humvees will detect them. And the Humvees will kill him. Now, this is really great from Scuba, preventing collection. This side is completely um, is completely mined out, if you like. And, oh, he doesn't want to lose these to the Humvees like this. Oh, no, Scuba. There they go. Does get one Humvee. Two two-star rocket buggies still, though. They are going to be able to do a lot of damage if he can keep them alive. I think each of those with one rocket volley might actually kill a Humvee now with the increased um, with the increased damage from being rank two. However, I might it, th that might be if they have AP rockets. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, it, I've been away from this game for so long that there's a lot of stuff like how much damage things do that I used to know back in the day, but have now forgotten. Rocket boogies, just trying to take these missile defenders down. Uh, Boykit going to be trying to get like a, a cheeky laser lock because I think once they're laser locked, they're, the laser lock's on even if the buggies go back into stealth. So long as they stay within range of the laser lock. We do have Colonel Burton here seeing what, uh, seeing if there's any buildings he can blow up. Seeing if he can sneak in and just pop these rocket buggies before... Um, before Scuba can do anything with them. We do have, did have a Rebel Pop on the Strategy Center. Oh, this is a great play. This is a fantastic play. Forcing him to sell the Strategy Center. Doesn't want to lose the money. In fact, gets the kill. That was a super high value um, sneak attack right there. Just going to pop that quad back in there. Not, doesn't want to lose it. So now, uh, Boyka doesn't have the increased range that you get when using, um, when having the strategy center up with uh, search and destroy. I think it's a 25% increased range. I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that one. But that increased range, as I was saying earlier in this game, is fantastic for these Humvees with the missile defenders inside them. It just makes life a lot easier microing them and life so much more frustrating for the GLA with the quad cannons. Makes these uh, rocket buggies absolutely mandatory in order to kill the, um, the Humvees in any... Uh, kind of e e efficient manner without losing too many units. Jarman Kel on the pop trying to take the quad cannon out, preventing the killing of this Chinook, but he gets absolutely annihilated there. The Chinook does go down. He does have uh, three or four, two, a few more, three in there. A couple of them a little bit damaged. So he still does have some potential income, but let's actually have a look what's left on the map. 750, 1400. Really not much cash left here. Down into the last 2k of the game. Both generals have absolutely no cash in the bank. So possibly the final push with three Humvees losing one and a couple of missile defenders there. These rocket buggies, one of them is now three star. I wish there was a feature that showed how many kills an individual unit gave or has uh, an individual unit's done. Because these two rocket buggies right here have been absolutely MVP for Scuba. Uh, being well microed. He has lost a few ro rocket buggies to uh, a couple of mistakes. But, oh, Tunnel Pop. Another stealth. Getting some quad cannons. Uh, getting some shrouded quad cannons now. 
going to be the uh, the last sort of brute unit to just run in and hopefully for Scuba end out this absolute thriller of a game. Like, this is an absolute, deserves the title of Epic Game. It's been so balanced the entire time and we still cannot possibly know who's going to take the win. Scuba with the stealth units, with these MVP rocket boogies right here. Probably this one, the three-star one's probably the MVP overall. Um, he has a force that right now Boyka hasn't found an answer to. He hasn't been able to s sneak his Humvees into a position to catch Scuba's um, rocket boogies off guard. And now it's even more difficult with those rocket boogies being stealth and not having the increased range from the strategy center. We do have a Pathfinder here out killing a sneaky worker. Like I was saying earlier in the game, these Pathfinders just holding down the flanks. Oh, worker absolutely plastered across the bonnet of the Humvee right there. But those Pathfinders holding down the flanks of the map. Oh, not even much damage there. That's why you need those AP rockets later into the game. Um, but those Pathfinders have just held down the side of the map really, really well. That's been a fantastic play there. Just to maintain vision and map control for Boyka. Chasing his Humvees into the base here. Hoping the quad cannons have gone down. But the hum the uh, rocket buggies remain up. Oh. Little uh, sneaky repelling. Some Rainbow Six action right here. Tom Clancy from the Rangers just going down. Not actually able to achieve anything. Got to be super careful. He's going to tunnel pop here. He's going to take the tunnel out with these two Humvees. Laser locking. Hum uh, the quad cannon does manage to survive. And now the stealth force can catch these Humvees out. Rocket buggies taking him down. Doesn't want to lose this one here. Good micro here from Scuba using the quad cannons to take the missile defenders out before they can do too much damage to the rocket buggies. Of course, it being two star, the rocket buggies don't care. They just heal straight up. Laser lock here on the two star quad cannon. It's not going to be successful. And I think that is everything from Boyka. An absolutely fantastic win here from Scuba. Uh, in the face of Demise being so low on economy towards the mid to late game there. But absolutely well played. And like I said, this has been an absolute epic game. So drop on by, join, uh, hop into the replay section, and drop a wub on this replay like I have just done there. Epic Scuba GLA versus Boyka Laser. Thank you, gentlemen, for an amazing game to watch, an amazing game to cast. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the first of hopefully many of me returning to cast some Zero Hour. See you next time.